I'd like to greet everyone who's watching this vlog or this podcast that I'm recording. But um, at the moment, I don't even have any fan base. I don't even have any fans um, or any followers for that matter. But um, I'm hoping that in the future, I will get some followers. Um, for you who don't know me, um, I'm Alami. I'm going to go Um, for those of you who don't know me, Kamalami was somewhere on my call. Um, I'm a student at UK in Westview campus. I'm finally a student, just finished all my exams um, last week, Friday. My SAP exam, actually. Um, and hopefully, if I pass all of them, yeah, but, uh, and then I go into the real world. Um, um, yesterday, um, I started out. Um, I launched my blog actually. I have a blog. Um, it's actually I O T um live. It's the acronym Racing Live. Um, it's short for um blockchain investing, finance, and economics. Um, the main reason I actually started the blog um it's because like I really observed. I'm in the spiller one. Why I look um in South Africa actually, not really the general world, but yeah, when in context of the general world was it the name. But then I observed with in South Africa, um the majority actually is black people obviously. But then black people are also the most poor in South Africa. So and uh we are like financially illiterate and then we don't know a lot about financial markets and a lot about like personal finance basically because we work hard for our money and we actually don't know how to make it work hard for us we only work hard to gain it but then when you have it you actually don't have um a lot of, a lot of financial knowledge to make it work for us um this is my first vlog everyone so you please excuse me I'm a bit nervous yeah, and all of that. So I just woke up now in the morning. It's the 25th, I think. Yeah, it's the 25th of November. This is this is E block. It's my friend's room actually because I stay in this block. Um, the main basis of this first video um that I'm recording is to first um, engage myself with the public and let myself be known um, and set out my goals and actually tell you what I want to achieve um, and actually I'm um, documented from the start because I can say it's the start today or oh, actually yesterday was the start because I launched my blog yesterday uh, my Facebook page on the uh, on the blog and whatnot yeah so yesterday was the start and today I'm continuing my journey um one of the main reasons um I started this blog um was as I said I'm looking at black people in this country and the state we are in and our financial position and our financial literacy basically. Um we are ignorant people basically. Um because we do have knowledge, I can say, not that we dumb or we don't know anything about money, but then um once we amongst ourselves and like we talk this ignorant language about money um we say we tend to, to to forget that um we can make a lot of money in this world actually by ourselves and preserve the world to have and like um after preserving our world and and, and disseminate it and and, and 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 make sure that um our future grandchildren um, have this wealth and can inherit this wealth because this is what happens actually with white people. Um, they are wealthy, they are not actually rich only. They have assets and they have like, um, they have assets actually, they have physical assets such as buildings and houses, um, cars, um, businesses, <coughs> capital goods, um, things, basically all I'm trying to say they've got like stock of assets that give them um, an annuity of income 
um, finance people and accounting people will understand basically what I'm saying. But um, to the basic person in in the country, that that actually means that um, if, for instance, you see, because like people in country, I like to listen to the friends in the because those are the people um, in the Mukuluma now. Um, if we make the in 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 a day is for instance. I like to make a uh, mama example about things is born. If you move in a day is a solution. Um, we say the car. I got seven. Got one a day. If it takes a time, can go in. It actually makes money for itself. Yeah, well, it's self-sufficient and then again the load. Fine. Also, but also overview. Also, when Zara and I am with the slack and what not. But basically, he yeah, not only assets. Is that person is has got an asset that gives um that person monthly income. Without him or her actually having to work, and this is what happens with white people, and this is what happens with rich people in general, in because even in Durban, they are born again, case and Indians are rich. It's not a, an issue of race, basically, but it's a, as much as I, I do have an agenda for black people, I don't want to lie, because we are in the bad states, but generally speaking, it's for everyone in the country. But then, so I, I will reference a lot of black people. Or, uh, or black people in my talk, but generally speaking, I'm speaking for the whole nation um, and for the whole human family, actually, in South Africa. Um, oh, okay, um, I'm going off a tangent now. Um, please excuse me. Um, okay, yesterday I started my blog, launched it, launched in investing, finance, and economics, like the Facebook page. Um, my first post was titled Get December Boys. It talks about like the general serious hub we have in amongst the black community and white community actually, but then amongst the black community because we usually spend money that we don't have because there's a lot of pressure to to actually look like you have money or you feel like um the whole year it could have happened that you didn't have money the whole year and you weren't really spending that much, but then and it didn't really bother you as much as it did bother you, but then you survived for 300 plus days. But when it comes to the last month of the year, you want to spend money that you are trying to save the whole year in the space of a month. So it just talks about that because it sets back people. It, it sets people back a lot. Because like you can't tell me that you've been planning for the whole year. You've been planning to, 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 you've been saving your money actually and spending wisely for the whole year because you want financial freedom and financial stability in your family or if you, 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 you in your family, maybe if you're a household, um, with yourself, maybe if you're still young, um, still starting to work. And then, bam, in one month, it just happens that you just spend a lot of money and you're back in debt again or you're starting the new year. On a back foot, basically, because you'll be going out and borrowing money, taking out loans, um, doing so many things um, that are not that that desirable just to get that back in order for you to survive in January. So it's about that, basically, about telling people that um, they should open their eyes, because you can't tell me that um, um, you, you, you you don't see that. It's a strategy, basically, where corporations and companies are like that they actually advertise Christmas and Christmas shopping in November. So they give themselves time. They actually give themselves time, like the, the whole of November, like psyching you up for you to buy the items and buy the goods. And then when it comes in December, you're already psyched up and there's festive season fever. And then you spend all the money. Um. Let me close this uh, video and then I'll record another one because it's already nine minutes gone. I don't think YouTube is gonna allow me to have such a long video. Um, I'll pause it now and then I'll record another one.